Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's video, we're taking a look at an awesome Star Wars kit that I picked up from Bricker Builds. This is a limited edition set that they released for this year's May the 4th celebrations. This is Ahsoka Tano's White Lightsabers. The designer of this kit is Louis Meany, and the kit came with 1,178 bricks. Those bricks are used for the stand and then for the lightsabers themselves. And 100% Lego. Everything that has gone into these lightsabers and the stands are, are actual Lego bricks, which I think is really cool. And they've just really outdone themselves here. I'm super impressed with these. So let's start off by taking a closer look at the hilts of each lightsaber. Really impressed with all the detail that they managed to pack into both of these lightsaber hilts. The first thing that really grabs my eye when looking at them is the excellent gold and silver pieces that they've included in both of them. Really neat to see and a lot of fun to see the shine that comes off of those uh, when they're on display and something that you can really appreciate up close as well when you're holding the lightsabers. Now, one detail that differs between these and the actual Ahsoka lightsabers is there's no slight curve to these hilts. But, you know, beyond that, it's really impressive to see just how well they have recreated these lightsabers in Lego form. Also a really big fan of the grip area on this particular lightsaber hilt here. You know, that's a detail that shows up on Ahsoka's lightsabers. And I think they did an excellent job there of recreating that. And even the little loop at the end of each of the lightsabers, just really impressive to see that attention to detail when recreating really impressive objects like these lightsaber hilts. And here you can see what the other side of each hilt looks like. And you can catch a little bit more of that sort of chromey, silvery shine on these parts here that I was mentioning. Really cool to see. And you can get a little bit of it off of the gold parts there as well. Uh, really nice use of those gold and silver parts. Adds a nice level of sort of detail and shine from a distance. And then, you know, a whole other level of appreciation when you're up close and looking at those parts of the hilt. Really well done. And, you know, really impressive to see all of these greebly parts on the, you know, both sides of the hilt, but you can see a number of them on this side here. Adds so much and it's fun to be able to go back and sort of compare these against the uh, the actual screen used uh, Ahsoka Tano lightsabers and just to see how all of those cool details line up. Now, in terms of assembly, instructions were great, super easy to follow. And, you know, in addition to being a fun build, uh, it was also really interesting to see through the course of the instructions how the parts were going together to recreate these details, uh, you know, those key details that you can see uh, on the real lightsabers, but also to see just how the designer went about making these as stable and sturdy as possible. These are really well put together. You know, when you are building long blade hilt combinations like this, uh, you know, it's very easy to end up with something that as you're trying to sort of carry it or move it around, you know, parts fall off. 
This is a very long blade on you know both of the lightsabers, but especially that top one. And they are rock solid. Really, really impressed by the construction and how thoughtful these were put together. You know, I've been carrying both of these around the house quite a bit and, you know, things are holding up really well. I think you could probably get away with some light, you know, hitting of these lightsaber blades together. Uh, that makes me cringe a little bit. Uh, you know, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to have to try to put them back together again. I don't want them anything to get damaged. So I'm not going to use it in that particular way, but I think they are well put together enough that you could get away with some of that without, uh, anything falling apart or breaking, which I think is really impressive and cool as well. Now, as I mentioned, you know, we've got them on the display stand here that the instructions show you how to put together, you know, a relatively simple stand, but really works well. I'm going to put these up on a shelf in our little Lego office area here in the basement. And, you know, I think it's going to work out really well. I have a few more lightsabers to build and, you know, honestly, this was so much fun to put together. I think I'll be picking up a few more of the the different lightsabers and swords that uh, the Bricker Builds has for sale. But I could see as I pick up more of these that uh, it would be really cool to come up with a sort of display wall on down here in the Lego room where we could kind of showcase all of these. So, you know, happy with the stand now, but I think long term, I will be definitely looking into a more substantial um, sort of display solution that I can use to showcase all of these amazing lightsabers and swords, etc. cetera, uh, you know, showcase them in a really nice way down here in the, the Lego room. So. We'll see how that comes together. But, you know, like I said, these are not the only lightsabers that Bricker Builds has for sale. Uh, I've got a few a few more full size ones to to build and I'll do some video for that as well. But I've also got some cool mini lightsabers that they had as a special deal when you were purchasing stuff on uh, May the 4th. So. Uh, I'll be doing some video with those as well once those are put together. So, you know, really impressed with this. This is not the style of build that I would necessarily normally do, but it's just so well done and so impressive to look at. And, you know, I'm a big Star Wars fan as well. And it's cool to have, uh, you know, basically props that are in the the movies and the shows that uh, that I watch and that I watch with my son. So, uh, you know, this was a lot of fun to put together and I foresee many more lightsaber builds in our future. So overall, super happy with the Ahsoka Tano white lightsabers from Bricker Builds. I will include a link below to the Bricker Builds website. Highly recommend checking it out. So many great model kits and model instruction sets uh, that they have for sale there. Uh, you know, definitely something for everybody. So highly recommend checking that out. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.